and we're back to another episode of Let's Play Wild Arms 2 Second Ignition. I'm your host, the RPG guy, and fuck it, we're doing an all-nighter. Let's go ahead and uh, pick off some of these optional bosses, shall we? And we'll do them in a very specific order, because the reason the order is important is they're ordered from, in my opinion, easiest to hardest. And in all honesty, and uh, this is going to sound kind of corny, but most of these bosses aren't hard. They have tricks. Did I need to go into Glive the Gobble to get the Gable to get the full Libra? Yeah, you kind of want it. Um, it just makes your life so much easier to have it. And I screwed that up, didn't I? It's actually over here. We gotta hit this dragon head thing. There it is. And unlock. And the, the whole point is that if you know a couple of tricks to these bosses, the, the bosses really aren't very hard. There's just one thing you need to make sure. In the first round, you throw off a you, you throw out a freaking uh, lucky card with whoever really doesn't need to do anything, and that's not a joke. Whoever doesn't need to do something, throw let them take care of throwing off the uh, the lucky card. It's usually going to be one of your casters, or it'll be someone else. It just depends. Every boss battle is different. This is the first big one you have to worry yourself with. Out of habit, throw up Thanatos X. Just, just do it. I, I know most of the bosses don't really do anything, but yeah, you're better off getting her done. With Ashley, go ahead and um, we'll let him force charge. And Lilica really doesn't need to do anything but ex except get her uh, FP up so she can use her strongest healing magic ASAP. Oh, and she could have used the lucky card. Whoops. Well, we'll make Ashley do it on her next turn if she doesn't have anything to do. Um, this boss is weak to fire magic outright, so that's what we're going to use to take him down. Um, as you can see, his melee attack is a fucking joke. Um, actually, we can use Tim since nobody got damaged. So that force charge, which is used with the Zephyr equip. So that's obviously what I did was I equipped that on him. Um, go ahead and just start hitting him. Don't hold back. Use Tim and Lilica on any free turns they get to use uh, fire elemental magic to take him down. Knock him down a few pegs. Slowly but surely. Because he's got a shit ton of health. And you notice that High Flame did 8 grand. I expect to see Tim do more if he gets a free turn in. Doesn't mean he will, but if he does. And he should, because Lilica can really do... Well, no, he's got it. No, he's got to heal. Well, no, he... Lilica can heal that. Um, Napalm hit. Same deal with Ashley Force Charge, and that'll finish him off. What I'm doing is very obvious if you haven't figured it out. I'm trying to get him... Oh, look at that. We have the AoE High Heal. Perfect. I think it was. That or just... Nah, it wasn't AoE. It just fooled me live. I don't know. I don't care. Just don't. Because we're about to go uh, balls deep next round with Ashley for sure. Uh, he did the same amount, so whatever. If you really want to go through the effort of moving shit around to make him like the ultimate attacker, you can go ahead and do that. I don't recommend it. It's not worth the effort. Let's full. go into access and let's... Uh, where do I keep restore? At the bottom? No, where's restore? I'm going to have to move it up, up because it's a little far away. Because we'll be finding ourselves using restore a lot, so... A little far. I'll use using Restore more than I use Resurrect, I think, in many cases. Anyway, what you need to know is melee attacks do not hit the boss. They do nothing. But So why bring Ashley and why have him change into to Night Blazer? Because the, what is it, the flame, one of his attacks has a flame element attached to it, which will actually work. So in turn, there you go. And that's his most damaging attack right there, I think. Eh, I could be wrong. Uh, may as well let Tim do it. Napalm hit. Uh, Ashley just needs to meet, uh, needs to use a mini carrot on himself. High heal. No, this is a single. No, oh, whatever. I guess it really doesn't heal all like it's set up would. The 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 crest that extends to everything, I think, is what that is. No, 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 no. That cuts the casting cost in half. Never mind. I was wrong. I was wrong. I thought that it, the E meant it expanded the spell so it hits everybody. It doesn't. There isn't anything that does that, really. Now that I'm thinking about it. 
Nice. Now everybody's gonna get to just unload, and we might we might kill this boss, but I doubt it. But the ability you're wondering about is Gun Blaze. Should work. It should work. It'd be kind of weird if it didn't. Came all this way and the damn thing didn't fucking work. You might be dead by then too. Oh, 21,000 damage, and it's still standing. By the way. He ain't done yet. This thing's got a lot of boss. We're talking like 50,000 easily. I think it even has as much as 75,000 HP. So this is quite the boss fight if you're curious. The other thing that you can do too is when it comes to that point, we haven't gotten there yet, but one of the other things we can do is use high combined. And I'll wait till we get there. I'm not going to use it right at this exact moment, so just hold out for a bit. My flame. But like I said, this boss is really pretty easy. But the only way you can fight him is to get the flare gun. So, and he is one of the easiest. They just get harder from here on out. Look at all that shit we got. Everybody leveled at least once. Easily. And they, the, the amount of XP and Gela, it just goes up from there. It doesn't... Okay, that's not entirely true. But it does keep growing from this point on. And we get the power boost, which is a really awesome accessory. Or no, 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 I'm sorry. It's a uh, weapon. No, it's not a weapon. It's an accessory. Yeah, increases the strength of its wear. Now, you may be inclined to put this on right away. I would suggest that if you are going to put it on somebody, put it on Brad. Um, but other than that, I wouldn't put it on anyone else. Um, because you need to, the resistance to the status effects. So that was pretty easy. It was. It wasn't hard. It didn't do anything that necessarily made me scream, Oh my god, we're gonna die! <laughs> and there really isn't any of that in this battle. So, alright. Now what we need to do is we need to go to where the... Um, and we're not far from that location, so that's why we'll do that one next. But we're gonna save. Um, and the reason you want to save is because this battle doesn't always play out the way you want it to. This one's a little trickier, but it's, again, it's another instant kill battle. Yeah, it is. This is a... I'm sorry, not another. The first one wasn't an instant kill. This is an instant kill battle. And I avoided it earlier. We were actually right where it happens. And it, you don't need... Um, you don't need... Um, Marav Maravel. I going to call her Miranda. You don't need Maravel to instigate this. Okay, whereas, like, even with this one, where we fought uh, this boss, this last boss, you don't need Maravel. For the rest of them from this point on, most you mostly need Maravel. So that's why it's important to have her, because most of these are those spinning little pyramid shits that you have to have Maravel to unlock. Which, in, for the most part, gives the ultimate weapons to our characters. So, always a good thing to know. Alright. All right, so we've saved. At least I thought I saved. If not, fuck it. I'll fight. I, I saved before I fought the first boss. I'll fight him again if I got it. And where we're going from here is we're heading all the way to where the Hemdel Gazo wreckage is, and that's where the next one is. And yes, some of you know who it is. Try not to ruin it for everyone else, please. I'm not gonna tell who it is. You shouldn't do it either. Um, as we're about to show it who it is anyway. Um, if I can remember where that fucking thing is. Where that wreckage is. I thought it was over here somewhere. I can't see what the fucking thing in my face. Um, hmm. Maybe it's over here. Yeah, okay, yeah, I think it's up here. Oh, yeah, there it is. So, it's in that Hemdel Gazo wreckage, or the fiery wreckage, as it's really called by the rest of us human beings. Um, just kidding. Um, so go in and make sure that you really want to make sure Lilka has the Instagib uh, protection on the Holy Grail, and you want to make sure somebody else has full Libra can't stress that enough, you know, you don't know how many people fuck that up. Something hard. Alright. And you, really what you have to do is you have to survive one round. And hopefully don't let him insta-give you. 
And if you can survive one round, you'll kill them the next round. And in the first round, you're obviously going to use a lucky card. And really, just have everyone defend. There's no reason for them to do anything else. There, there really isn't. Alright, let's do this. This is the Mad Mountain Sword. Guess who used that if you don't remember? Yes. The Hitler of Odessa. Vinsfield Radamanthus. It's his sword. And we are fighting a creature known as... Come on, show it. The remaining poltergeist ghost. And that's exactly who it is. It's a fucking ghost. whoop de freaking do um, because you're fighting a ghost, there's a golden rule that you should have observed a long, long time ago. First things first, pop a lucky card, everyone else can just fucking stand there and do nothing. There's nothing really for them to do. Because unless you pop the lucky... I mean, you could pop the lucky card and then as and hope that you put, get it, pull it off in time, but I'd rather not. That's a big risk, and I'd rather not take it. And as you can see, Tim took a big nasty hit there. We gotta get him up. Um, and we gotta heal. So put a big berry on Lilka. High revive on Tim. And we should be good. You know, we'll get hit again. And really, he's just gonna keep doing it. So it's just a matter of wearing him down. If it really gets to the point where you're in a lot of trouble, just have Lilica Mystic. Um, a healing item. But you should be able to get through this. I mean, he uses it every turn, but he doesn't kill you every turn. It's it's a chance, and it's a decent chance, but we'll some, eventually Tim will survive it. If it really gets bad, oh, now be kill me. Damn it. All right, well, you know what? I'll waste a Gimmel coin. I don't care. We'll try again. This time we'll do something different. <laughs> I probably, probably should have done it this way in the beginning. Let's pop out, turn undead, and even if you don't get the, the thing off in time, it's fine. If you don't get the lucky card off in time, it's fine. And we did. So, and I believe Tim is faster than the Vince field here. So, like I said, I should have done this in the first place, but whatever. I wanted to see if I could make it last two turns, and it just didn't happen. But there you go. He's dead. Ooh, whoop de doo Fuck him in the ass with a big rubber dick. That was easy, I know. And we all level and get a full carrot for our trouble. Woo! Yay! So, yeah. As long as you're faster than Vincefield's ghost, then you'll be fine. Um, okay. So we did that. You're just doing it for the full carrot and the experience. There's nothing to gain from it other than that, I don't think. At least not to my knowledge. That's all I remember from that battle. I mean... If there's something I'm missing and you guys can tell me what it is, let me know, because that would be kind of cool. The other thing you could do, too, is probably if I could have probably, I should have probably popped uh, Thanatos and been would have been done with it. But, you know, it's whatever. I mean, I'm not here to beat these guys in, like, a serious fashion. I'm here to beat them, to fucking beat them. Okay, if you watch my wild, uh, my Final Fantasy X, I think I beat almost all of the Dark Summons with uh, Yojimbo. Yeah, because you actually can do that. So, anyway. And my Gimmel Coins level out to 30, so I, I'm kind of happy about that. I like round numbers anyway. Alright, so now that we've done that, we need to go to the Town of Helmets. Where we'll save and, of course, take on our next opponent. Who is also pretty easy to kill. But there's a few things you'll want to do going in. to Going into the battle. Number one, you're probably not going to want to use Loka. No, well, that's not entirely true. Um, we'll take Ashley, I think, out of the first part of this battle. So, there we go. I'm a little happier with that. And with that said, look at all the money we have. We're fucking wealthy. Um, before we go and pick a fight, let's save. Because saving is your friend, if you didn't know. I hope you know, because saving is your friend. You should be happy. Okay. Um, there we go. Is saving really my friend? Will it really be nice to me and, you know, tell me the secrets of the world? It's thinking about being you know, telling you those things, but it doesn't mean shit. Uh, anyway. Don't tell me the game. Man, the game's lagging. Give me one second, guys. 
no, it's doing it again. Hold on. All right, there we go. It's working, working now. So, fucking lo started lagging out again. I don't know why. All right, um, fucking recorder. Um. <laughs> okay, so there's a pyramid here, and I forget exact. Ah, there it is. All right, so here's our first pyramid boss. You know, the very danger. Very dangerous, coveted, you know, oh my god, they're gonna fuck us up, bosses. Well, if it makes you feel any better, they're not gonna do as much as you think. And you'll see why in just a moment, when we start this bad boy up. So, yeah, it's big, it's ugly, it's the steel dragon of the bowels of Earth, Titanius. Ooh, it's the age of Titanius. Okay, that's a bad joke. Going into this guy, all you need to really, really, really know is that, as usual, Pontus X. Nah, we don't actually need to do that this time around. Let's pop a lucky card, and Maravel will do something called Power Seal. It's an attack blocking ability, and you just do that until it connects. It's literally all you gotta do. And hopefully, you can survive its first attack. And we should be able to. And Tim should be able to heal that pre before this boss gets an attack. And so, sealing his power. And all he'll be able to do... Oh, it didn't work. So next round, we gotta try... You know, you, get, you, gotta, you gotta keep trying until you get successful. The other trick is what I'm gonna do now. We're gonna let... We're gonna bring in... We're gonna take out Lilka, bring in Ashley. And we're gonna use Tim to heal. Maravel's gonna keep trying to lock the power. And... and Actually, Ashley's going to do something very strange. Ashley's going to try to instant gib him with uh, the dead or alive arm because it has a chance of instant death. And this boss is actually vulnerable to instant death. I know, it's a, it's a weird thing to, to think, think of, but it's totally true. He's vulnerable to instant death. So, why not, you know? Anyway, it's not a difficult battle, so you just have to keep... Getting, hoping to get you get lucky but as you can see we beat him pretty quick so there you go and yay oh at least it wasn't rough and we get the shooting star this is a weapon that's pretty decent for um, Ashley. It's his best weapon in the game, so yay. Yay. Go, Freedom Train, go. All right, let's go ahead and equip Ashley with with it, as it's significant. It's hundred, almost 140 but plus on his attack, so definitely worthwhile grabbing that bad boy. Um, go ahead. I would use um, the end, because luck isn't a matter of how these battles play out. It's, it doesn't, it's really not important at all um it's just being lucky and survive and surviving and planning your attacks out accordingly um so let's go ahead and heal up yay all right Now that we've done that, we're gonna do we're gonna do a little bit a little bit of prep, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Valeria Chateau. We're gonna buy us two dark rings from the merchant we've actually never bought anything from. So let's go that let's do that. So Valeria Chateau. This one requires a little bit of prep. Nothing nothing major. Just good to get it out of the way. You know. Just saying. Um. And it also helps you take a lot less damage. That's going to be coming in a little bit, I assure you. Um, I'm going to say this dude is like in the basement somewhere. I forget where this guy is. Um, he's either in one of the basements. And I think I, I, I'm going to. I'm going to stand by that. I think he's in the basement. And hopefully, I'm right. Because if I'm wrong, oh well. Um. It, is it you? Yes. Okay. Thank God. Um. 
so pick up go ahead and pick up some dark rings you know we'll come back here as needed I'm not gonna dick around too much with whatever all right so that's said and done and for four And we need to head out. Not much to really say other than doing that, so just be aware that that's really the easiest thing to do is to get all this kind of set up before we go out and do other stuff. So. Um. All right, so let's do this. Let's equip Brad and Ashley. I know it's weird that I'm saying let's equip Brad and Ashley with Dark Rings. This will make a lot more sense when we get there. Um, yeah. And formation, we need to change things around a bit. Um, form, put in Brad, Lilica, and I like putting Ashley at the top. You can also probably pull this off with Tim, but Tim's health is a lot lower than Lilica's if you'll notice. Take notice so it's not necessarily the best idea to use Tim though if he can survive the attack throw him in there but you kind of need his ability you kind of need the ability for him to survive and survive a hit you know not really much to, to say outside of that and anyway moving along we're looking for that oh that crater which is all the way to the south so I'm going the fucking wrong the fuck way and that's where we're headed to next. Oh, you know what? I didn't save. And I probably should. Where's the nearest town? Gilgalad is the nearest town. So we'll save there, and then we'll head to the next battle. Um, it's not a hard battle. It's just a little trickier than the other ones where we kind of just powered our way through them. There's no real easy way to power this one. So you're kind of just at the mercy of, of doing it, you know? Um, there's no, I have no recommendations really other than equips because melee is the only thing that hurts this guy. So, you know, but at least we have heal, high heal being really, really cheap. We also have, um, everything else kind of going our way. No way to really say much beyond that. Um, uh, make sure we save it again. go do this I just want to make sure I'm fully prepared because you know with my luck I'll just get fucked um all right here we are this is where we want to be And here's the boss fight. So here's what we're gonna do. We're all pretty pretty well set, I think. So let's just get to it. Now this boss, like I said, he hits really really hard, um, especially on your caster, which Lilica is the most likely one to survive and be able to heal everyone. So you're kind of at the mercy of of, of Lilica, and she's gonna be the major focus. Okay. So, getting, keeping her alive is kind of a big deal. So these first few rounds are going to be really, really hyper-focused on her. So the first thing we need to do is not even bother with the, the, the lucky card yet. We need to get her freaking... Um, uh, we need to get her FP through the roof. Up parameters is going to up her strength and abilities and stuff to keep her nice and strong. So that's the, that's the first big thing that we need to do. The first 
the next step is to cast shield on herself and constantly keep upping her defense. The only time she should stop is when she has to heal. And really, just, at, you know, this is what you're hoping for, okay? You're just hoping that this will work. But you need the high HP, which is why Brad and Ashley are in, as well as the melee attacks. I really wouldn't waste too much time with, um... Oh yeah, here we go. So that's the first big problem. The next big problem is going to come later. So let's for have Ashley force charge. Let's have Brad pop um, the lucky card now. And Lilica should dual cast more shields on herself. It's just that's how hard this dude's going to hit. And I'd rather just have her as beefed up as possible. It's not like we can't use a full carrot or some shit. There we go. And she's just gonna rinse and repeat and keep buffing up that defense. And actually, I'll probably hold off on the full carrot. I don't think we'll need it, but we may need to do a serious recovery if we get hit too hard. Hopefully that doesn't become a problem, but it can. Alright, um... Ashley still needs to keep force charging, so there's no way around that. Uh, mini carrot, Wilka, same deal, have her mini carrot herself. Gotta keep her health high. Gotta keep the FP high. There's no way around it. And then we'll actually have Ashley access, and then... That'll be said and done. Alright, from this point on, I want to say our, our focus will now be um, Ashley needs to access. Brad needs to actually build his FP up. So let's have him actually attack the belly a bit. Work that belly. And then we'll have Lilica keep casting shield on herself. Unless she has to heal, just let her sit there and keep doing that. Yeah, I forgot to buy another Dark Ring. I should have really bought three, and I didn't, but oh well. It is what it is at this point. There's, there's no point in worrying any further. Just let him keep boosting himself up. You could care less. He does eventually max out. Um, and actually... Have hit Lilica use more mini carrots and get her maxed out. Well, these two build up some FP working on the stomach. Which, by the way, has a ridiculous amount of health. So, you know, just saying. It's got 50 grand. Which is like 9 or 10 attack coming from Ashley. But it's in all, well, it should be fine. Well, here's, here's comes the problem. Here comes the Hurt Locker. Luckily, though, we've got those rings to help absorb some of that damage. Um, Ashley nah, should still build up his FP. Brad, no, Brad needs to build up his FP. It's Mini Carrot, Lilka, Brad, Brad Attack, The Belly, and Lilka, High Heal, Ashley. And like I said, any any turns that Ashley doesn't need to be any somebody doesn't need to be healed, we let her cast shield on herself. That's all she has to do. And keep her FP really, really high. Those are the other things we want to make sure we're constantly doing. Keeping her FP high, what it does is it protects her from being one. Uh, it, 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 it the up parameters. It's really all I have to say. Up parameter, because that's really what we're trying to do. Now, with Brad, we need to get him maxed out. And once he's maxed out, we're going to have him just unleash the fucking beast on the boss. I want to actually... No, no. If, if, Brad dies, that's a, if Brad dies, that's okay. If Ashley dies, that's not okay. Anyway, so then once we weaken the belly down significantly... So, we're doing about 10 grand around with Ashley now that his parameters are still constantly increasing. 
once we attack him maybe one more round or two more rounds even, we're going to start working on the main body. And the reason why is this whole body attack is lethal. And you know what? Fuck it. I don't care anymore. Let's just kill him. Kill him hard. Kill him fast. Instant gig right up his ass. No, I'm just kidding. Um, we can't instant gig him. Um, again, shield since he wasted his turn. The full belly shot will actually one-shot Lilka. Even with a lot of shields and her full parameters, it still has a good chance of killing her. So you're at the mercy of this attack. If you get hit by it, it's it's on you. You know, you, you just got to recover. Use a full full revive fruit. Use whatever you need to use to get her back up. Because once she's down, you get fucked fast. And she's going to go down. Yeah, she's down. So everybody has to contribute to this. Um... Revive Fruit, and we know Brad's the slowest, so we should be able to get a big berry on her. Though a Mega Berry probably would have been better, but, you know, get her up. Get her off her fucking ass and get her back in the game. She's also not going to have any FP, so... Yeah. You may have to spend a round or two recovering for her. And who knows? Yep, she's going to go down again anyway. Because she's not fast enough to dodge that. Same deal, but this time, instead of just picking her up... We're going to go ahead and hit him with Mad Lucide and use Brad to use Revive Fruit and hopefully just try to keep Lilica up, you know. You're hoping for the best, you may not get it, and she might die and miss a level, but you know what? Fuck it. You're, you're trying to win the battle here, you're not trying to play instant win. And actually, using Mad Lucide was a bad idea. Come on, hit uh, Brad. Hit Brad. You know you want to. Okay, here we go. Now, this hits everybody, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Okay, shit. And she's fucking down again. God damn it. Damn you, Lilica. Get off your ass. Let's give her a full, re a full revive. I hate to use one, but... Like I said, we gotta get her ass up. And we gotta pop a mini carrot on her as soon as we get a chance. And that we gotta get her healing. Extend the high heal if I have to. Shit. Or throw Tim in, even though he'll get one-shotted, but at least I know he'll be okay. And he's going to waste a turn powering himself up, which helps me out a lot. Alright, um, Ashley, keep attacking. Ah, perfect. Um, no, not, no, 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 that's a death threat. Um, you know what, um, mini carrot. And let's have her big berry, no, she's full health, so let's have her big berry Brad. Just because some healing's better than none, and you don't know if she's gonna go down in the next round, so. Unless you know, she's not gonna go down in the next round. You better heal, use a big berry. We also will use some of our extra money to buy more revive fruit because we need it. You notice I haven't bought any upgrades for the weapons yet because you kinda don't need it, so don't worry about it yet. Alright, Brad's gonna get hit hard. Well, not really hard, but he got hit. Um, alright, we're gonna use this turn to actually unload with, with, uh, Brad this round. Boost, and keep your fingers, toes, and nipples crossed that this hits. It has a really good chance of not hitting, that's why it's such a big deal. Mini carrot there. And hopefully that'll give her enough to high heal and extend it to everyone. And I think Brad will get the two attack first. I think. But this lowers Brad's parameters as well, so you have to be careful about doing this. I think it was a hit. Nice. Still better than what he would have done without boost, so fuck it, you know. And I, now, no, you know what? I don't actually know. He does 3,000. That did 7, so that did more damage. Um, Alright, so now we need Ashley to attack. Brad needs to heal someone. That, that no, that's not really gonna matter at this juncture, will it? So she can't reach everyone, so give it to Ashley. And then we'll give it to Brad next round. He's still got a lot of health, so we're still really hoping for the best. But we should be okay as long like I said, as long as Lilica's up and healing, should be alright. And if the boss wastes a turn, he wastes a turn. You know. Oh, what are you gonna do? Do zero damage with your goofy ass counterattack? And he wasted around. Perfect. Indeed. 
Melee attack, melee attack. Um, she can't extend, so I heal Brad. Because, like I said, Brad will survive any major attack that the boss hits him with, so as long as his HP is pretty, pretty high, so. Like I said, this battle's not hard, it's just a matter of keeping Lilka up. And she has the best odds of surviving the big belly burst attack. It doesn't mean she will, but she has the best odds of surviving it. Or whole body attack, rather. And luckily that missed there. Attack, attack. High heal on Lilka. And then we'll let her get her FP back up to, again, increase her parameters. Still got a long way to go before he's dead, I think. He's maybe halfway there. Maybe halfway there. Okay, maybe I was wrong. He was a little further along than I thought. Anyway, dude is completely trashed. And everybody levels. We get an Ambrosia and a Black Queen, the ultimate weapon for Lilka. Yes. Now, to make up for that rough battle, as I like to think of it, we'll do an easier one. Um, first things first, and then we'll end, you know, we'll end the episode after this one. Um, and we'll obviously on the next episode we'll have more. God. All right. So go and we need to go to Odd Headquarters and pick up some more uh, healing items before these start getting a little bit battles start getting a little more dramatic. Um, so if you are just joining us, this is how you get access to some of the better healing items. Use electricity and all that. Not use um, Miravel's electric shtick to you know make it easier to get to the black market. All right, and if you are following along and you've never been to the black market, you know, and you're just watching this video for the first time, shame on you. Um, yeah, you may as well just max it out. Max it out, and we'll max those out. Not that I need to. Um, and we can max out our war respites. We'll do that, too. You know what? Fuck it. We're doing it live. You know what? We'll max out our regular eel berries. I don't care. Maxing it all out. Don't care anymore. All right, uh, whoops. I don't know why I was going that way, but I was. And let's get our characters set up for, for the most part, the next battle. Um, let me see here. Uh, for the next battle, we'll put in Tim and Marivelle. Make sure they're set up the way I like them. And Amulet's useless. Let's get her, uh... Let's get her um, full Libra, and we should should be good. Lilka's got the instant death, Holy Grail, yeah. Okay, and we need to equip her a new weapon. Durr. Look at that, <laughs> almost a, that's a hundred right there. All right. Uh, besides that, I think we're, we're good. No reason to put Zef. Oops. No reason to put Zephyr on anyone. Um, really, it's my, mostly for Ashley anyway. So. Anyway, let's head out. The next boss. Now, I might. I, I did say earlier. Oh, the next boss is easy. He is pretty easy. He's not necessarily hard, but there's some tricks to him that can make your time a little rough if you're not paying the best attention that you should. Let's go to Gilgalad because that's probably the second closest or closest place to where we need to go we'll save and then we'll go take this boss on like I said he's not super hard um, I can't th you know I can't think of really anything to say I, it's, he's not that he's hard he's th it's that that he, he gets his turn before you do and so you've got to be just you just got to be ready for it you know and you got to have your fingers and toes crossed that um, that um, Maravel gets her turn quick, fast, and in a hurry. Um, and and hope that you get lucky that you, one of her attacks hits. That's really really all there is to it, you know. Um, but again, he still hits pretty hard. And if anybody gets around 2,800 HP, you're probably gonna want to heal that. So the next boss we're heading for, for our boss side trip, is in the Thunder, what is it, the Thunder Tiger, the Lightning Tiger, the Wind Tiger Den, or whatever it is, it's right here. K-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1
can't remember the name of it for the life of me. I just know that this is where we're going. Wind Tiger. I said everything but wind. I said lightning. I said thunder. And fuck it. This is what it was. All right. And you can see where it is. It's right there. Um, just go up to it. There it is. Not much to say. There it is. Um, he doesn't, I don't think, uh, no, you know what? I think he does have instant death attacks. So, you're going to want a Tim to throw out Thanatos X in the very first round. So, don't dick around with any, you know, the lucky card. If you really need to, let Lilica do it. Um... But Thanatos X gets the priority. Your Maravel needs to actually do something I put at the bottom. Sleep. He actually can be sleep. Slept. Put to sleep. Um, and Lilica will have Lilica pop the lucky card. For right now. And that bo Ripper Boomerang is the actual instant death attack, which is why you don't want to really get hit by it. Alright, so lucky card out. And from here on out, the boss is kind of a pushover. It's that first round or two that you gotta worry. Excuse me, that you gotta worry about. I believe he's weak to earth, so just hit him with graviton to the belly. We don't have enough uh, FP for Maravel, so just pop her a lucky mi a mini carrot that'll get her built up. And Maravel can use high break on the belly. We'll take the belly out first, and just keep hitting him with magic. That's all you really gotta do. And there's not else, much else for me to really say. That's the strategy I got. And I hope it works. Because <laughs> if it don't, well, well, shit. Stuff's going to get kind of weird. Now, I'm sure we'll be fine. This is how I remember killing him, and he died pretty quickly. Now that everybody should be able to attack him. Where is it? Graviton. And I think better than that, Miravel can hit all. So we need... Where is it? Terra Break. As you can see, that hits everything, so it'll kill the upper body and work on the lower body. And Tim and Lilka can work on the lower body to kill that thing off faster. And you can see the battle's pretty much decided. Not much else for me to say other than that. So, yeah. but this is why it's really worth getting Maravel all these, all of those side skills from earlier in the game. It's so important, because look at how easy these these secondary boss battles are. Now, yes, these strategies are ridiculously broken and ridiculously cheap. And I guarantee you the developers didn't really fully intend for the bosses to be fought this way. There are ways to beat them without using these skills, but honestly, why would you want to use a different skill? Because it's not cheap. I'm sorry, I'm the king of fucking cheap. Because most people don't want to sit and try to fight, get to level 99 just to kill this guy. Which you could probably do at like level 60, or even 55 for that matter, but anything lower than that, it's a pretty hard fight. Um, but it's not worth that much effort, it really isn't. He's asleep, he's not gonna hurt anyone. And if he, if he wakes up, I'll put him to fucking sleep again. If the developers didn't want you to be able to beat him like this, they wouldn't have made him sleepable. They just wouldn't have done it. So I don't want to hear that shit later, you know. Oh, it's, you know, that's to totally cheap. No, the developers made him this way, and they made him weak to this. That's their deal. Just saying. Uh, la 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 la. And he's awake, so we'll have to obviously put him asleep again. Because you can, as you can see, he will wake up. And again, you're hoping that it goes through. So I break. Luckily, oh no, he gets a turn before we do. He could actually kill someone in one hit too. So you gotta be, gotta be very careful. Make sure we heal Maravel too, the little guy. I think. Yeah, and he's asleep again. He's just not immune to it. So what can I say? A booyah, motherfucker. Right, Graviton, Terra Break, and High Break. He should be almost dead, so he really should be, because we've done over around, I want to say, around 70 grand of damage to him, I think, between the three of these guys. They're doing, as when all three of them attack, they're doing 
like 20 grand around. So yeah, as you can see, he's finally found. Kind of, they're not so tough, are they? If you know what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> How do you figure this out? You use every element on them and find out what they're weak against. You look at what their skills are that they hit you with, and you figure it out from there. It's not complicated. But it takes a little bit of premeditative thought. So you gotta think about some of that. And yeah, it's not always clear as daylight, but once you get it figured out, it's actually pretty easy. Alright, so we've done that. We've gotten Tim's ultimate weapon. Next stop, Mount Chug Chug. But we'll see you guys there on the next episode. So, more side bosses, more killing. We'll see you there.